Ah, hello out there, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, Pollock's World of Entertainment. If you haven't been here before, uh, please subscribe. And also, if you can hit that like button, that would be greatly appreciated, certainly if you like the, the video. Um, my video is a... Re for, for This video is going to be a review of Dark Phoenix, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Um... I would start off by saying overall the movie was pretty good not not great and it had it had its issues but Sophie Turner who played Jean Grey and the Phoenix did a great job and that she was the focal point of the movie and by comparison uh, that's why I rate Godzilla, King of the Monsters, better than some people would because it, it, they did a great job with Godzilla and, and actually the monsters themselves, even if they weren't utilized as much as they could have been. They they did do... The, mon the, the monsters in that movie were well represented. And also in X-Men, Dark Phoenix, Jean Grey, Sophie Turner, did a very nice job portraying Jean Grey and the uh, and the Phoenix. Um, now, with that being said, here are the problems, and this is why the movie has been getting bad ratings with uh, Rotten Tomatoes and with other um, IMD. It's it's it hasn't been critically acclaimed by any means, and it's not performing all that well at the box office. Um, there are empty parts to the movie. There is a passing of the torch in the movie, but it's an empty passing. There's, it's, it's done in a poor way, and, and when I say it's an empty passing, there are no new characters, significant characters that are brought out in this movie. And anytime you're having a passing of the torch, you have to have something there to take to replace what is being that who is passing the torch. Um, if not, you're all you're doing is taking away and you're you're not adding in, replenishing. Um, that's with any movie, any movie franchise um, you, you when you're talking about, by comparison, the MCU, you know, the MCU is bringing in new characters, and so if certain characters are ended, there are new characters coming in to uh, take the place. There's there are there are new faces, new names, and it's there's it, it there's a new. Um, it's just new. You're you're not just taking away. You're you're adding. And in this movie, there are no new significant characters added to the mix, which that that's why where the boringness comes out. This is why I'm sure a lot of uh, of cri of critics felt that the movie was boring. Um, while I didn't think it was really boring as much as it just there were there were a lot of just empty parts to it and but again so Sophie Turner and James McAvoy also to an extent um did a very nice job and really made basically made the movie worth watching I would I would I would actually recommend it I would not pay full price for the movie. I would either go on a bargain night like I did tonight for and paid five I paid five dollars and I went to Phoenix Big Cinemas. Um if or if you're gonna see it see it on a on a matinee. I, I wouldn't pay full price to see the movie. I also wouldn't pay the extra three dollars to see it in either three D or X D as for Cinemark or the extra money to see it on the IMAX either, I would see, but I would see it. It it's it is worth at least at least uh, going to see. But 
that that's about it as far as the movie goes. It was it worth the five bucks, but I mean not not a movie I would rush to buy when it comes out on uh, Blu-ray or and or DVD. But at some point I'll end up I'll, I'm sure I'll end up getting it. But that'll do it for this video. Um, I, more will be on the way, and I know this is kind of I'm taking a bit of a uh, breather from my uh, tour of Pittsburgh segment with this movie, but I got got to do some movie, got some do some other things along the way that go along with the tour of Pittsburgh. But anyways, um, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned, more more videos to come, and uh, everybody have a great evening.